This video is going to look at a specific way of naming ionic compounds. It's called the ick and the us naming system. And uh, there's some requirements for elements to be named using this system. So firstly, it's only going to work if we're dealing with a metal. Secondly, that metal has exactly two charges to it. And lastly, the chemical symbol of that metal comes from the Latin name, not its regular name. So there is uh, generally not a match between the symbol's name and its uh, actual symbol. So there's a few examples here. Uh, we've got I've got the us ones organized right here. So we've got iron, copper, tin, and lead. So ferrous, cuprous, stannous, and plumbus. And over beside it, I've got the ick versions, where we've got ferric, cupric, stannic, and plumbic. So there's four here. You might generally find there's a couple more, but these are the common ones. So let's take a look at a couple of examples here. So let's name the following. So if I were to give you the formula CuCl, first step is you would uncross these. So you'd find that copper has a charge of plus one, chlorine has a charge of minus one. So since we're talking about the copper plus one version here, we're talking about the us version. So if we wanted to name this, we could name it cuprous chloride. Uh, you could also use a Roman numeral. So uh, copper one chloride would also be acceptable. So a second example here, uh, let's go with Fe2O3. You uncross your ions here. You're talking about iron that's three plus. You're talking about oxygen that is minus two. And since we're talking about the iron three plus version here, we're talking about the ick version. So we could call this ferric oxide. Now I'm thinking at this point, you're probably wondering, well, how can I tell the two apart? So just taking a quick look back at this chart here, there's actually an easy way to remember this. Um, when we're talking about the us version of these, we're talking about the lower of the two charges. And when we're talking about the ick version, we're talking about the higher of the two charges. And I'd like to point out that there's an easy way to remember this because us has an O in it and so does lower. Ick has an I in it and so does higher. So if you've got a question that's dealing with, say, iron 3+, plus, you just need to look at the two charges and say, okay, 3+, plus, 3 is higher than 2. We must be talking about the ick version. So lastly here, just to compare the two methods, um, you could always use a Roman numeral. So when you're putting iron and bromine together, you could have these two versions. Or you could use the new version of uh, the naming system that we just learned about, where it uses the ick and the us. It's a Latin method. So you could have ferrous bromide or ferric bromide. Hopefully you found this video helpful.